Welcome to the first Virtual Book Fair USA. Now from Mexico, the author Enrique Viesca presents his book, El Espejo de Max. And also from Mexico, the author Shirai González presents her book, Que Padres Padres, presented by Libertad Batancourt and interpreted by Manuel Ramos. Please guys, go ahead. Hello, how are you? Thank you so much for being here on time. Thank you so much. Um, my name is Libertad Betancourt. I'm our um, cultural ambassador of the virtual book first in different countries like Peru. I was not in Peru, but I started to be in Mexico, Argentina, Colombia, uh, Spain, Italy, United Kingdom, and now in my home, United States. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I want to say, first of all, thank you, Luis Palacios, because he is our angel in backstage. Thank you for the translator, uh, is Manuel Ramos. And we are going to start. Um, I have to say thank you so much for Cesar Salvatierra and Alan Morales. They are our co-founders of the Virtual Book Fair. Now we are going to speak in, 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 in English, and we are going to have a translation. and. We are going to talk about two very interesting books. I'm so excited. I want to buy the books. I'm sure I can buy it on Amazon. That's right. Or where can I buy the books? Amazon? Yes. Yeah. The commercial is in the beginning. <laughs> it was not in the script, but I want to say. <laughs> okay. I want to start uh, this presentation. Mm, I'm going to read about both, but I'm going to make the first question before I speak about the, the biography. My first question is because I have here my first guest. And I'm sorry, I, I need to find a couple of information. Okay. I want to ask to Enrique Viesca. He's our first uh, guest. But before I ask, sorry, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm a little hyper. I'm going to be relaxed. But I want just that you say hello for our audience, both. You can say hello to our hello. people. Hello. <laughs> Hi, hello. How do thank you feel you. in this fair? Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. Libertad quiere saber cómo se están sintiendo en la feria. Uh, Enrique y Shirai. Muy bien, muy contento de estar aquí contigo. I'm fine, thank you. Sí, muy a gusto, muy a gusto y muy agradecidas por la invitación también, por la oportunidad de participar con ustedes. Thank you so much, thank you so much. We are going to enjoy this moment because it's a funny moment and it's the most important part is the presentation of your work. You have been writing and writing probably for a long time probably for a short time, I don't, I'm, I don't know, but it's your baby, your baby that is here in, the, in, our, in our beautiful uh, book fair. Ah, ok, eh, pues eh, Libertad nos dice que lo importante es que en este momento presentemos sus libros que son como sus bebés, tal vez hayan escrito por largo tiempo o por un corto tiempo, pero que este momento es ideal para hacer esa presentación. Okay. My, first my first question is for Enrique Viesca. I can see the image of your book. The name is the, the Miro of Max, Max Miro. And my question, the first question, ah, yeah, you have it there. Okay, it's better. Who is Max? Ok, eh, Kike, eh, por favor, cuéntanos quién es Max, eh, por qué elegiste ese, ese título, ¿no? Um, Max es un muchacho que ha vivido muchas cosas difíciles. Es entre una parte creativa y yo. Okay, uh, Kike tells us that Max is a guy who has lived many things during his life, and the character is a mix uh, a between him and a creative uh, character. 
Oh, fantastic. And the second question, I'm going to switch, okay? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to ask both. Um, I'm not going to be focusing on only one person. Oh, ok, vamos a intercalar las preguntas para que ambos también tengan participación. Excellent. I feel like in Miss Universe with the, the translator is fantastic. You are fantastic, Manuel Ramos. Uh, thank you, Libertad. Ok, my other question is, when you are in the morning in front of your mirror, in your bedroom, in your home, What do you see? Ok, Kike, Libertad quiere saber cuando, la, cuando las mañanas tú estás frente al espejo, ¿qué es lo que tú ves? Veo a una persona que ha estado en el suelo y se ha levantado y luego que ha aprendido mucho y que ahora es capaz de compartirlo a los demás. Okay, Enrique says that he watches a person, a guy who has a fell, fall down and who has been in the floor, but someone who has woke up and has continuing living. Beautiful, beautiful story. And uh, of course, Max is inspiring many of your, uh, of your um, experiences and some is fiction or is autobiography. Libertad quiere saber si es que hay una parte también de ficción dentro de la historia o todo es autobiográfico. No, no no hay ficción, es todo real y en base a, a la creatividad mía, pero no no hay ficción. Okay, Enrique says that uh, the story is based on real stories and his life experience. Beautiful. I love it. And now I want to talk with Shirai Gonzalez Perez, who is our next uh, writer. And I, I see the title of your book. Do you have your book with you? Yeah? Tienes tu libro por ahí, Shirai, para poder mostrarlo. Hay la oportunidad. Yeah. O es un libro virtual, tal vez. Es un libro virtual, pero ahí está. Oh. Ok. <laughs> Very good. Listo. Ok. My question is about the title. It's difficult the translation because uh, the word Padres is a Mexican word. But I think it could be like, what are cool parents, no? My question is, what is the definition of a cool Father or padre, padre, what is your definition about it? Oh, okay, Shirai, Libertad quiere saber, eh, bajo el contexto de México, cuál es eh, la definición que se le puede dar a un padre que es padre, un padre, padre. Ok, sí, en este caso nos dirigimos tanto a mamás o a papás, o sea, generalizamos la palabra padres y pues son aquellos mamás o papás que tienen una buena relación con sus hijos, en la que inspiran confianza, respeto, protección, seguridad, pero que también al mismo tiempo puede haber como, como esta relación llevadera, por decirlo así, sin perder las líneas de autoridad, pero que puedan tener una sana y agradable relación con sus hijos, que sus hijos puedan pensar en ellos cuando tienen alguna dificultad. Oh, okay, uh, Shirai tells us that uh, uh, padres, padres means uh, cool fathers and mothers too that have a good, a very good relationship with their daughters and sons. Uh, in this case, they have uh, many values uh, inside the relationship, like respect and other ones. Also, she mentions that uh, they also have some limits and discipline and they conserve that during that cool relationship. Oh, wow. How difficult is be a cool father or mother? It's very big, difficult, right? 
Uh, ok, eh, Libertad nos dice que ciertamente es un poco difícil. ¿Tú qué opinas de eso, Shirai? Si es un poquito difícil ser un padre cool, un padre padre. Sí, creo que las líneas están, son muy delgadas entre el, el, la línea del respeto, la autoridad, la flexibilidad, la permisividad. Entonces, efectivamente, tenemos que tener como padres mucha claridad de lo que queremos transmitir y mucho mmm, manejo de situaciones y como mencioné en mi libro, inteligencia emocional, para poder caminar sobre esas líneas con, con, entre el respeto y la amabilidad y, y la, 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 la cordialidad entre las relaciones, ¿no? Pero sobre todo entre el amor, definitivamente. Of, well, uh, Shirai mentions that the key point of managing this kind of situations with our daughters or sons uh, uh, is the love that we have to keep. Uh, and also, also, she mentions that he that she has another interesting book called uh, Emotional Intelligence. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Now I'm going to read a little about who is Shirai Gonzalez. Perez. She, uh, she comes from a traditional family made up of four members, father, mother, and younger sister, with whom he learned and for the foundations of what has become today. Currently, she has formed her own family. She is a happy and proud mother of two children who have been her best life teachers of her. Regarding She, the professional area, she's a psychologist by training with a specialist in family therapy and brief therapy, a master's degree in administration with a specialty in human factor management, a master's degree in child therapy, a diploma in developmental neuropsychology and neurobiology and brain plasticity. She has 20 years experience in clinical practice as a child, individual, couple and family psychotherapist working with families, parents, children and adolescents. For 11 years, she has had the opportunity to contribute to professional training or specialization, being an honorary teacher at the master's level at the Center for Family and Couple Therapy the National Pedagogical University. And currently she's a manager and full-time professor at the, Universal, the Universidad Autónoma del Carmen, where he has had the opportunity to be a speaker at international conferences. Through his professional career, she has focused on the development of human potential contributing to personal growth in different spheres different spheres of life, personal, family, school, work, and social, and his different stages of life, childhood, adolescence, adolescence and adulthood. Oh, wonderful. Why it's important to read uh, your uh, background or your resume? Because I think we have now, we are sure you have the information, you have the knowledge to give us Uh, more, uh, one more, um, you are like, like a counselor in a book, right? Because books are that. Books are like psychologists in paper, uh, priests in papers, or uh, scienti scientists in papers. I think it's very important and very strong, your biography. Thank you. Oh, ok, Shira, eh, tal vez hayas captado un poquito de lo que nos decía Libertad, pero era recalcar lo importante que es que leamos un poco de tu biografía para transmitir de que tú tienes el conocimiento, la información para estar este tipo de contenido relacionado a psicología plasmada en papel. Sí, gracias. De hecho, la inquietud del libro surge precisamente por los años de experiencia trabajando con familias, padres, adolescentes y niños, ¿no? O sea, era como trabajar un poco más a nivel preventivo y tratar de, de poner algunos puntos sobre la mesa que cuando los vemos como padres eh, podemos atenderlos, podemos trabajar al respecto y podemos como prevenir algunas situaciones en casa. 
Oh, okay, Shirai mentions that the importance of her book is that she has developed a preventive way, a preventive space before some problems that happen usually during the a childhood and that she usually has worked with some parents. Fantastic, fantastic. Now the turn is Enrique. Wake up, Enrique. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not a formal uh, presenter. Uh, I love jokes. Okay, Enrique, I see that you born in Torreón, Coahuila in 1980. You are really young in a family made up of four people, father, mother, and a younger brother. Uh, Enrique's story is basically that he comes from a family of active members in health field. His father was a doctor and his mother has a degree in psychology. His parents instilled in him a love for sports and he has um, developed that aptitude from a very young age. He's a simple man who lives to face new challenges and who has always been characterized by being a hard worker and very social. Enrique is graduated of electronic engineering and communications degree from the, Univers the Universidad Pan Iberoamericana. He has a master's degree in information technology from the Tech Millennium. For 13 years of his life, his work has been in field of cellular telephony. He's working 11 years for the largest company in the field, Telcel. And the following two years, he worked, he has worked on his own, providing service and in the area cell repairs. Oh, it's really interesting. He taste for reading comes from many years ago, but it was only a personal out outlet. He did it to get his ideas, but later he realized that he could do it in a better way and decides to start with his book. Oh, I love it. I love it. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in, in all your, your life because you have the balance. You have the balance of, because doctor is talk about humans, uh, sensibility, service, and many virtues. But we are talking about business too, too, because you are independent. We are talking about technology. I see that your profile is multicultural. You are, uh, you are very sensitive for both areas, right? Okay, Libertad nos dice, Enrique, que eres una persona bastante multifacética y que ella percibe que has tratado de combinar eh, ambos aspectos de la vida, ¿no? Tal vez uno más sensitivo y otro más relacionado a un plano material como en los negocios. Cuéntanos un poco de ello. Sí, efectivamente, efectivamente, de parte de mi, de mi familia, pues es toda la parte de servicio y de salud. Y por otra parte, bueno, pues después de muchos años de trabajar eh, en empresa, de muchos años de trabajar siendo empleado, encontré un punto en el que dije, hay que independizarse y hay que ser dueño de su propio trabajo. Y empecé a combinar las dos cosas porque la escritura es una parte sensible y la parte de los negocios pues es una parte pues muy, muy práctica y muy lógica, ¿no? Entonces sí trato de combinar las dos y sí, como dices tú, Libertad, sí tengo un balance en mi vida. Oh, ok, uh, for everything, for everyone, Enrique tells us that he has tried to mix uh, the both play the both the both sides in this case the spiritual and also the material he considers that it is important to uh, be an entrepreneur and to have his own business but also in some way to develop that spiritual part great 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 i have the information about your book but i don't want to read it i want it that you explain to me in your words with your sensibility. When Max born, in which uh, part of your life when you were working or when you were independent or was during the pandemic, when born, it, uh, he was born, uh, Max, in your, 
in your heart, in your mind, and in your paper and or in your computer now in, in the past with paper and pen when he born. Ok, Enrique, cuéntanos por favor cuándo nació Max, eh, durante la pandemia, antes, después, en el papel, en la computadora. No, eh, bueno, nació en la computadora, sí, pero nació en un punto donde fue un, un punto crítico para mí eh, por muchas dificultades que, por las que yo pasé y decidí escribirlo, y, pero al principio no se llamaba Max. O sea, al principio era una persona, o sea, era, no tenía nombre, sino que Max se lo puse prácticamente cuando finalizó el libro. Eh, pero Max nació a partir de momentos complicados por los que yo atravesé. Oh, ok. Eh, Enrique tells us that Max was born without a name and he was eh, passing very critical moments. And he started to write about those moments and that the name of Max uh, came uh, at the end of this book. Okay, great. And, um, and Max, um, I forget the question. I'm trying to share your, your presentation uh, live. Okay, um, Max is, um, is the, the, the book. Is a story, or is for different chapters, for uh, short stories, or how is the, the book, the chapters of the book, how are, how are they? Okay, Enrique, cuéntanos un poco de la estructuración del libro, sobre si hay capítulos, eh, las historias son individuales o interconectadas. Eh, el libro está di dividido en 17 capítulos. Eh, no... Bueno, sí están conectados y no, o sea, no es una historia hilada, pero cada uno tiene como característica que es un problema normal o cotidiano que vivimos todos los seres humanos. Ok, Enrique says that uh, the book has uh, 17 chapters, but they are not totally connected uh, one with other. Uh, they develop a problem on each chapter. Ok. Thank you so much. Now we are going to ask um, our uh, next uh, writer. Sorry, papers. Uh, Shirai, Shirai, right? Shirai, your name? Shirai. Okay, I see that you have four, it's four categories, or you mentioned something in, in, in the book. Let me, let me find my notes. Um, one second, please. Is, You have, um, I don't remember, four plans. You are mentioning that are four plans to build uh, strong relationships with your kids. What are they? What, uh, what are they? Ok, Libertad nos dice que tú tienes específicamente cuatro pilares sobre los cuales eh, basas la relación con los hijos. Nos gustaría saber cuáles son, que nos expliques un poquito. Claro, ok, sí, en ese, digo, hay varios, pero aquí básicamente solamente plasmé cuatro. Estamos hablando primero nada de, del amor, pero siempre lo he dicho, de esta capacidad de expresar lo que sentimos y muchas veces como padres, uno de los primeros retos es aprender a expresar lo que sentimos, sobre todo en la parte afectiva del amor. No es porque sea mi hijo, debe saber que lo amo, sino yo tengo que todos los días aprender a transmitirlo y a recibirlo también. Eh, no sé si traduces y sigo o... Ok, it's ok. This part uh, mentions that uh, the first and important uh, base, foundation, is the uh, love, the, the effective side. El segundo pilar es la comunicación, que es efectivamente también construir puentes de comunicación. Primero, lo ideal sería entre la pareja, entre los padres y de ahí con los hijos que haya puentes de comunicación sólidos que nos permitan realmente tener una comunicación más profunda, más íntima, más personal, y no solo hablando de los hechos superficiales que nos acontecen. 
Okay, uh, for Shirai, it is important, the communication, this is the second point. She considers that it's important to um, put some bridges uh, between, first of all, uh, the parents, and after that, with the sons and the daughters. Tercero son los límites, la importancia de, eh, de formar una estructura y una organización familiar que le permita a los niños tener una capacidad de contención, de protección y de desarrollar algunas otras habilidades como la autorregulación, por ejemplo. Okay, uh, Shirai mentions that the third point is uh, the... Um, I don't know. The limits, she considers that the third point are, are the limits and that it is important because uh, by this way, the children are going to be able to build uh, other abilities like self-regulation. Y por último, la inteligencia emocional también impacta de, de sobremanera la relación entre los padres y los hijos. Si nosotros no somos capaces como adultos de aprender a conocer, a identificar y a manejar nuestras propias emociones y pues por supuesto ayudar a nuestros hijos a manejar y conocer sus propias emociones, ¿no? Ok, to conclude, the fourth point uh, is the emotional intelligence. Uh, Shirai mentions that if the parents are not capable to uh, manage their emotions, are not going to teach uh, this ability to their son and daughters. Thank you so much. Thank you, Enrique. Time fly i can't believe it i want i have many questions for both but i we don't have time but i'm so excited because now i'm i'm i know a little more about you for me it's very important to know who is the writer because behind is the reason of the book it's very very important and i i want to ask you um i want to ask you enrique which me message you want to give it to us, to the audience, about your book. Okay, Enrique, para finalizar, ¿qué mensaje nos quisiera regalar a la audiencia? Okay, mira, el mensaje que yo, que más me gusta a mí dejar eh, respecto a mi libro es que no hay problema que no podamos solucionar. Todo puede, todo tiene una solución, nada más es observarnos, observar a los demás, y encontrarnos a nosotros mismos para poder solucionar todo lo que se nos venga. Todo tiene solución en todo aspecto. Trabajo, familia, pareja, hijos, fe, todo. Todo tiene solución. Así que si leen el libro, se van a dar cuenta de muchas cosas. Oh, ok. Eh, Enrique says that uh, the advice that he would uh, give this night is to notice that Everything has a solution, every problem in different aspects. We are going to notice that if we observe ourselves and also other people. Uh, additionally, he considers that if we read the book, we are going to notice that. I'm so excited. I want to know Max and I'm going to buy your book on Amazon. Definitely, I want to... I want to read more about the story. Thank you so much for that beautiful, I'm sure it's a beautiful story. And now my, my the same question for Shirai, your message for the audience, the audience, okay. sorry. Shirai, también para ti, por favor, tu mensaje que quisieras regalar a la audiencia con respecto al libro tuyo también. Claro, yo los invito a leer el libro, pero más que nada leerlo, sino reflexionarlo. Al final de cada capítulo vienen preguntas de reflexión para que, podamos identificar cómo lo estamos haciendo en casa, cómo estamos siendo padres y qué tan cerca o lejos estamos de ser qué padres padres. Oh, okay. Uh, she advises that uh, she advises us to read the book because we are going to find at the end of it, each chapter uh, some questions that are going to make us notice if we are doing it well to become padres padres or cool parents. Thank you so much. And now really quickly, again, uh, where can I find you? In media, in Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, Twitter. Tell me the information. 
Muy rápido, eh, Shira y Enrique, ¿dónde los encontramos? En redes sociales y el libro, ¿dónde lo podemos adquirir también? Amazon, que para los padres, Facebook, que para los padres, este Facebook también, Shira y González, ahí nos pueden encontrar. Ok, Shirai González en Facebook and en Amazon uh, and also en Facebook as a website. ¡Qué padres, padres! Eh, y yo por mi cuenta, eh, igual en Amazon, eh, página de internet www.elespejodemax.com en Facebook, en Instagram también El Espejo de Max y mi red social personal es Quique Viesca y también ahí me pueden encontrar. Ok, also Kike is in Facebook as Kike Viesca and the book, uh, we are going to find it uh, on its website www.themirrorofmax o El Espejo de Max o, y también en Instagram y Facebook. Oh, thank you so much. I have to say bye. I don't want to do that. I'm so excited here. Focus, energy is moving very nice. But we have to go. I really, I have to say thank you so much for everybody. Thank you so much for both writers that I think is beautiful that you are giving to us, to the society, light. You are putting light in our lives. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Manuel Ramos, for that incredible translation. Thank you so much. I feel in a Wow, in Hollywood. I love her, his voice. He's very nice. And thank you so much, Luis Palacios, because you were you were waiting here and you are helping us in this impeccable transmission. Thank you guys. Thank you for being here. Good luck with your books. And it's totally in Spanish, right? Yes. Language, in Spanish language. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Thank you, Manuel, for the interpretation. Thank you, Libertad, for this brilliant interview. And thank you, Enrique and Shirai, for sharing your books with us. This is the first virtual book fair USA. Stay tuned for more. See you later. Bye.